Hi, I am Alma Duncan, founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. Before 2015, I was the broke girl who was stuck in her own limiting belief of not enoughness. Marianne Williamson's words, You are a child of God, woke me up and then I sought help to work on myself. I still invest heavily in my personal development and so much has changed for me in the most incredible ways. My burning desire is to see an Africa in which women are empowered to thrive and impact people. I am a trainer, coach, social entrepreneur, author, and an event organizer who help others with their personal development so that together we can all thrive as fabulous children of God. Mind Your Business is our weekly podcast where we share enriching content to help us thrive. It's free on YouTube, and if you prefer to work with me one-on-one, go to amadankan.com forward slash store to book a discovery call with me. The link is in the description. On today's episode of Mind Your Business, I have three super fabulous women. I know, I know I say that about all the women. I know because actually that's how God created us. Fabulous. These women, not only were they at IFA 2022, they were also on day four, on the day four, which is the adventure tour that we took to Bunso. These ladies were there. Did you know that some people actually signed up for the conference and not day four? And some, for some people, their companies paid for them to come for the entire experience and they dropped day four. But these three ladies, they were like, uh, 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 we are going and they did it. They did it like me. They did it afraid. Today, I have the opportunity to talk to them, share experiences, and hopefully convince you, if you're on the fence, that, hey, you know what? I am doing it. So these three ladies are Belinda, we have Emanuela, and then we have, Pat, um, sorry, Cynthia, Cynthia Nanapia, who is the CEO of, um, COO of um, the party crew. They are going to tell us about the experience and hopefully convince you so that you know that if Belinda, Cynthia, Emanuela can do it, ah, me too, I can do it, cry. So let's see what they have to say. Hi, ladies. Look at your pretty faces. Thank you so much for joining. It's too bad that people cannot see how wonderful you're looking. Nanekia in her fabulous shades. Emanuela's skin is popping. Belinda's dress is killing, man. Ooh. <laughs> I'm enjoying the sight alone. Ladies, thank you so much. Please introduce yourselves to the fabulous audience who is listening. Let's start with Nanakia. Hello, ladies. Hello, fabulous women. This is your class P, Nana Ikua Class P test, COO of the party crew, chief operations officer. Yes. And I am in charge of your adventure. Yes. This IFAB. Thank you. Yes. This and many more IFABs to come. Thank you so much. So the party crew is um, the company that is partnering with us to bring us the adventure tour of IFAB 2023. They also handled 2022. Thank you so much. Also on my screen, I see the fabulous Ella joining us all the way from Belgium. Introduce yourself, my lady. Hello, ladies. Hello, fabulous women. I'm Emanuela Boatmarsal, a care assistant and co-founder of Patella Fashions. Thank you, my model lady. If you just need some inspiration, go on her you know, Instagram and Facebook page. Look for Patella and Chai. Sometimes I see her pictures and I'm like, are you sure I know this woman? <laughs> like she's a superstar. <laughs> and then we have the lovely Belinda looking gorgeous in her office. Belinda, tell us a little bit about you as well, please. Hello, people. Hello, fabulous people. My name is Belinda Bujiafin CD, a.k.a. the Indifa Tigabo, a.k.a. Mama Flambo. I am a civil servant by the and then on the side, I am a Tupperware consultant and then I'm the founder of the Nelson Esiedi White Foundation. 
thank you. Oh, you've given me goosebumps. I don't know why. I don't know whether I don't even know. Let's not go there. <laughs> but ladies, today this this episode is also airing on Val's Day, and before we get into the conversation, I want us all to share a simple line of encouragement with love or anything to all fabulous women out there, especially if anyone is listening to it and feeling lonely or for whatever reason they are down. I want you to say something lovely to them. So we want to start with Mama Flambo. <laughs> Hi, Anna. So um, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Love is a very beautiful thing. Love. Allow yourself to be loved. And love yourself, ladies. Spoil yourself. Shade, feel yourself. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Flambo. Cynthia Nanepia. Ah. To my fabulous women who think they are lonely, especially on this Val's Day. Your class P, I did for you. You know I love you. I'll do anything for you. Uh, if you know you are feeling lonely, just get in touch. I'll send you some champagne. <laughs> Happy Val's Day. Oh, thank you, class P. Ella. Hello, fabulous lady. Happy Val's Day to everyone out there. It's Val's Day and it's a show of love. Never feel yourself below. Love yourself to the fullness and enjoy it to the fullness. Happy Vows Day, ladies. My poet, that. Oh, my God. You just succeeded in giving me my signature goosebumps. Thank you, ladies. Right. Now, let's talk about IFAB. Oh, my goodness. I'm looking at all of your faces and I'm trying to remember how you were feeling when you were on the canopy walk. But I, I don't remember. I'm trying to picture some things, but instead of struggling to picture, I want you yourselves to be the ones to tell us your some of your highlights from specifically the adventure tour of last year's IFAB. Ella, let's start with you. I see you are ready to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Can this year FAB have conference be rescheduled? Oh, oh, I'm sending you hugs. I'm sending you. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Where's the, where should I start from and where should I end? I mean, it was quite an adventure, just as you said. Um, initially, I wasn't taking part, but from everything I saw, I heard, I saw people were rushing in and stuff. I decided to join as well. I mean, I've been in Ghana, gone to places, but I mean... Where we went on the tour, I mean, I always passed there, but I never knew there was such a nice, exotic, I mean, adventure place like that. And talk of talk of the canopy work. Oh my God. I nearly didn't go. But thanks to Class P, I mean, she's kind, I don't know, she's one of um very pushy lady and very adventurous as well. And I was really, I think I was at her back or in front of her. <laughs> the kind of thing this lady will give you, the support, the push. Oh, ladies, you need to experience this yourself. I thought I was going to fall. I could see Amma giving some motivation to her daughter. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> I'm not falling back. Ladies, you need to experience it for yourself so that you also can be able to tell someone it's an adventure you don't want to miss. Mm, it's mm. a gathering of women, supportive circle of women. You are going to love it and you wish the day doesn't come to an end. Oh. Register. Even if you don't register day one, register for day four. I know, right? <laughs> Don't miss day four for all Don't the jollof, all the hands on in Ghana. Oh, Amma, the experience was just wow. Mm. The experience was just wow. Class B, God bless you. And I know this year is going to be more wow. Mm. So ladies, rush and register before your sport is taken. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Ella. 
Belinda, talk to us. Hi, people. So <clears throat> I love adventure. I mean, my middle name is adventure, but this kind of adventure was a different ball game altogether. Um, I have heard of Bonsu, but I didn't know it was such a beautiful, eco-friendly place. It, I mean, I was wow. So we the 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 point that I really enjoyed was the zip line. I I I didn't think I could do it. So there I was, I was like, oh yeah, me, I'm Vin Gill. I'm going to do this. Then I climbed up and then I saw the mountain. I was like, this mountain is not my mountain. <laughs> Let me descend. But you see, I couldn't descend because everybody was watching. So I'm like, God, ask for this one. I'm doing it with you, but make sure you hold me. So then the guy said, I mean, the instruction was that when I put you on this, uh, we'll count up to three, and then I'll push you. I said, eh? Who <laughs> <You're> pushing me? <laughs> now I don't cut off them. <laughs> then he said, oh, no, 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 that's not what I mean. I mean... I'll give you a push. And I'm saying, but still be pushing me. It's like, oh my God, don't worry, it'll be fine. I just had to psych myself that this I'm doing it. And I got onto it, and before I knew it was over, I was like, ah, can I go again? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I was really enjoying it. I didn't think it would end that quick. So, ladies out there, please do not miss out on the adventure bits. Because if you think, you love adventure. You need to try class pieces. You need to try the iFarm. And you will realize that it's not just a regular adventure. It's an adventure that um, gives you the opportunity to get into your inner self, to really face your fears, mm. to really embark on a journey that you have never thought of or something you thought of but you didn't think you are capable of doing it. So I think this is the time for anybody who has it on her bucket list to try something wow, something crazy. Should That person should join the iPad adventure trip and their network. You will meet very lovely ladies. You would be entertained, you would be educated, and oh, you would strike a business deal. Mm. And you will find love. So don't stay at home. Amen. You will find love. Yes, so come come on the trip with us. Fantastic. Hey, Belinda is promising love. Guys, we better pour some love on that day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cynthia, talk to us. You pushed everyone to go, whether they wanted to, whether they were crying or cursing you, did not matter. You managed to get everyone you sent there on there. What what are some of the highlights for you from last year's IFAB? Yeah, the highlight is the fact that most of the ladies whispered to me, Class B, please let me skip this one. <laughs> let me skip that one. <laughs> and then <laughs> I'll be like, no way, <laughs> you can do it. Mm. Once I've taken your money, <laughs> I'm a very godly person. <laughs> I can't keep your money. <laughs> I have to put the money to you, so... Mm. The money has already come. I'm not refunding, so you have to do the activity <laughs> and kill that fear. So my 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 main duty as a tour guide and a tour operator is to make sure I encourage the participants to conquer their fear on the day. Mm. So I, I am not there to pamper you or do a pity party with you. I need to encourage you. And because it's my job, I know what to say to you and how to make sure you do the activity because I know in the end you will love it. Mm. So if if I don't encourage you to get the experience, what are you going to share out there? Mm. So and 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 I'm happy all of them, none of them skipped an activity. Yeah. I'm I'm I was so proud of all of them. Yeah. So uh the girls did well, and I know this year to be massive. Amen. And I'm proud of you too for what you did and all that mm -hmm. 
you keep doing. And I want to speak to Belinda and Ella now because you were participants. As for Cynthia, she's the one who forced us. But the rest of you, after you know you went through that experience, however you perceived it, the before and after, what has that done for you afterwards? You know, over the past one year, what has this experience done for you? Belinda, you can go. So um, the adventure trip, it got me to rethink all the things I wanted to do that I uh, put on hold for that long. It also gave me an, uh, a better understanding of life that we live only, like we live once, we live in the moment. So whatever you want to do, you have to do it now. And you should confront your fears no matter what. So over the past year, I have made it. Uh, I've made this conscious effort to try and get close to adventure, close to nature, as much as possible. So my office is not far from the sea, the beach. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So people, I'm really living the life. I cheat mm. you not. Mm. I drive almost every. Um, lunch time and go and sit at the beach to relax because I know the importance of um, taking adventure trips or getting close to nature. There are days I'm coming in the morning, I just drive there and go and put my feet in water. And when I come, the feeling is different. I am able to work and concentrate. I mean, I get to the office and there's a bit of stress. All I want to do is to move out of my office. And I have a, there's a garden in my office. Yes, yes, yes. there's this beautiful garden in, in my office space. So I go sit in the garden. I enjoy nature. And it has really helped me to appreciate life that you need to think on your feet. You need to make certain decisions whenever you are confronted with any and Above all, you need to enjoy life, right? You need to enjoy life. And anytime I get close to anything nature, I feel I'm getting very close to God. And so it's been very, very um, relaxing. It's been very amazing. And then I get to do a lot of reflections and then I get to write also whenever I visit any of these sites. So it's been a good period and I'm really looking forward to this year's trip. Yeah, I can't wait. I actually wish tomorrow is March. Oh, oh. Hmm, my yeah. sister. Oh, thank you for sharing. And you, this is my third goosebumps today. When you were just talking <laughs> about you stopping by the beach to dip your feet, and I, it just had, it did something for me. And that, that kind of peace you will experience and doing that and not waiting for someone to escort you or something, you know, it's just so beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Belinda. You are truly Mama Flambo. You are flamboying. Thank you. Not Yantunu, you are flamboying it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Emanuela. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. You made that happen. Oh, to God be the glory. <laughs> Emanuela, what has changed for you? So after the trip, I will say, just as Belinda said, you live life once. Mm -hmm. And, you know, going on the zip line and on the canopy was something very frightening. Mm -hmm. I mean, class P push you, but you have to have the will to do that. And the willingness to do that is getting out of your comfort zone. So I have realized staying at one place in life wouldn't get me anywhere. Mm. So I have to take little steps towards whatever I want to achieve. And that is the kind of mindset I had after the conference, mm. after the adventure. I make sure every weekend I try to go somewhere apart from my home, if I'm not working. Mm. Every evening, after my daily workout for the day, I make sure I take a walk, 30 minutes, just to have the fresh of the air, mm. just to have a clear mindset of everything. Because 
life is too short not to enjoy it. Mm. And the most adventurous things or the most regretting you ever say to yourself, oh, I wish. So I don't want to wish. Mm. I am taking advantage of everything now, moving from my comfort zone, taking it one day at a time, mm. taking each step each day as it comes. So I have, after the conference, I told myself, I am moving out of my comfort zone to do things that I wouldn't do. And I am really going ahead of it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Champion Class P, tell us this year, where are you taking us? Walk us through the experience for the sake of people who are listening and thinking, hmm, maybe this year I, I shouldn't stay away from iPad. You know, last year, some people did day one and two. In fact, no, they did day one, two, three, and not four. There are some people that their companies paid for them for day four and they still didn't show up. <laughs> so tell us this year, what should we expect? This year, it is squirrel. <laughs> yeah, most of the time, when people Yay! hear squirrel, they, they think it's Easter. But <laughs> Kweu has tourism attractions too. Mm. And that's where we are exploring this time round. We are going to the Nkofiehu cave. Mm -hmm. It's an ancestral cave. And so if you are able to go into that cave, go into that cave and, and come back, you know, uh, uh, you are adventurous. Mm. And then we will also uh, visit the Eco Ravens and then uh, do the Abitifi. Um, park. We will also pass through the Plush Rock City Hotel. So, and then um, you've heard about the paragliding in Ghana. We will show you where it happens. We won't do the paragliding, but we'll see where everything happens. So, this are the lineup for this year's IFAP. We, we will serve you well. And this time, I have wonderful news. The wonderful news is that Belinda here is my co-tour guide. So expect something massive. Sa? Hey, so she's a Kwehu queen, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so happy we get to go and see the paragliding site too. The last time I was there, where I was doing the training, when I looked up, I was able to see it, but I haven't actually gone on there. And I'm so happy also that you are preparing us small, small. I know that another time you go and let us jump, but this time it's like you're taking us easy. So for anyone listening and saying, hey, I heard that word, forget it. Please, please, please come back to me. We are not going to be flying. We are just going to stand there and look and let our eyes behold the beauty. And then another time she will take us there to go and do the whole thing. So thank you. Yes, I mean, so, I, I am really looking so, forward to it. Yeah, so this year, it's a bit of adventure and sightseeing. Mm. Yes, you, you, your eyes will see beautiful things. Mm. And it's, it's good to experience nature and let nature speak to you. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. It sounds exciting. And Belinda, I want to come to you shortly to speak on this. Who is the kind of woman you are looking to meet at IFAB 2023, especially at the Adventure Tour? So <clears throat> I'm looking to see the woman who says, this is not my thing. Adventure is not for me. I'm looking forward to seeing that woman who thinks that adventure is for small, small girls who go on excursion. I'm looking... So I'm looking forward to seeing that woman who thinks that um, I'm too fat, I'm too slim, I'm, I'm, I'm not cut out for it. And I want to meet that woman and let her understand that adventure does not have um, a, a face. Mm. Adventure is for everybody who's alive. Adventure is for you to live, to enjoy life, and for you to stay healthy. I am looking for that woman who thinks that I am too honorable, I'm too ladylike. I want her to understand that it is for the people like them who need adventure to appreciate life even better. 
to be able to be more ladylike. Because if you have traveled the path of adventure, you, you get to be more um, explicit in everything that you do. Mm. So these are the kinds of women I'm looking forward to meeting. The one who says, I'm afraid. I want that person to confront their fears because adventure, even if us living on a daily basis, we live in fear. You can't keep living in fear. They make the food you eat, the water you drink. You don't even know who planted it. You don't know the, the um, chemicals that were sprayed on it. You are not afraid of that. So why are you afraid of going to feed your eyes to create memories? Yeah. A time will come, all you have with you is your memories. So you need to come on board. So madam, sister, auntie, Iraba, <laughs> please. Awula. <laughs> Awula. Awula, thank you. Please <laughs> move out of that seat and join us on that bus. And let's go and see. You know, I come from um, Peru. The, I, yes, but the places she's mentioning, I haven't been to any of them. I only go to Peru for Easter. Peru, Peru. And then I've been to the paragliding site because of work. And I've seen the place. And ladies, it is such a beautiful view. Hey. If you see that place, look, you forget all your troubles. Like, it's as if, if you're not careful, you, you ask, can I fly right now? No matter how you think you are afraid of things, that site alone will get you to overcome your fear. So these are the kinds of women I am hoping to meet at this year's adventure tour so that together we will grow. Together we will conquer our fears and together we will take territories and do marvelous things. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. You see why Belinda is my co-pilot? <laughs> Oh my God, Ella wants to just fly into Ghana right now. This is not fair to the lady. How can we do this to the lady? Ella, we are sorry. Ella, we are sorry. Come to Ghana. Oh. Your ticket's never a Ghana. Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, Rachel. We are sorry. It's a match thing. Oh. It's a matching time. So sorry. <laughs> oh my God, Ella. I mean, well, to all of you, thank you so much for sharing. I'm smiling every time I have these interviews, sharing the memories. It's just so beautiful. And I cannot help but say thank you, God. I mean, I am so happy to be part of this amazing experience and all that. So thank you so much. Before I let you go, ladies, I have some questions that I always ask my guests. So I'll just begin. It's a short sentence. I begin the sentence and you end it with what you believe is true for you. So we are going to start with class P. Complete the following. If I could advise my younger self in one short sentence, I would say. Read. There you go, Belinda. If I could advise my younger self in one short sentence, I would say. Live in the moment. Ella? Leave the future now. <laughs> oh. Okay, second question. Belinda, I am fabulous because? Because I love myself. Cynthia? Because I am a fabulous child of God. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say, oh, no? You can say the same answer. <laughs> That's so funny, Ella. Say it and be real. Say it. <laughs> yes, Ella, I am fabulous because I'm a child of God. <laughs> Thank you. And then the final one, one book that has greatly helped me in business is Ella. I'll start with you, so no one says your answer this time. <laughs> Wish that for that. Oh, Cynthia. Beyond the Rivers of Ethiopia hmm, by Pastor Mace Oh, that's nice. And Belinda? Who moved my cheese? Ah. Oh, goosebumps. <laughs> 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 it's, 
so interesting that rich dad and rich dad poor dad didn't get my goosebumps to come. But who moved my cheese rather than <laughs> Wonder shall never end. Oh my goodness, ladies. I am so excited. I'm flamboyant. Yes, you are. I'm fabulous. So, tell us, flamboyant lady, how do we find you? For anyone listening and thinking, oh, I want to see this lady. I want to meet her. I need her help or anything. How do we find you? Oh, great. If you need my help, if you need to see me, just come to the IFAB 2023 this year. Just come. <laughs> Don't see, I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to give you any Facebook or IG or no 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 that one it won't be personal if you really want to have a feel of me. I mean I'm an actress sometimes, but I won't give you that address. If you really want to see me, get my help and let's talk, or you want to help with anything, just come to iFarm. When you come to iFarm. You would see me in the flesh, Believe and me. you would see, you will see for yourself the flamboyant, the fabulous woman you want to see. So please, I entreat everyone listening now who wants to see me, talk to me, need my help, touch me, whatever you want to do with me. When you come to IFAB, I'm all yours. Thank you, and I love you very much. Oh, thank you, Belinda, Ella. How do we find you? Very unfortunately, you can't see me. You can't touch me. (laughs) 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 But you can reach me via Facebook or IG, Pat Ella, and on IG, Pat Ella underscore fashion. Mm, Thank you. And Patty, Madam, (laughs) Class P. The Party Crew. So check check us on Instagram, The Party Crew, and on Facebook, The Party Crew. Mm. And I'm also on Facebook as Nanekoa Class Peters, your celebrity tour guide. AKA. And now my idol. <laughs> AKA Class B. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So I'm a, I also want to add that. Um, this year, party crew, we are encouraging women to be adventurous. Mm. Because if you are able to conquer physically, you'll be able to conquer a lot of things mentally. Mm-hmm. So women be adventurous in this 2023. Mm. And for every adventure, you contact me. No matter how fearful you are, we will do it together. And you will conquer. Yeah. And this time round, we are not going with two buses. It is one bus, one coaster bus. Hmm. If you don't book on time and it gets full, I'm not getting you an extra bus. <laughs> so the last minute people, let me warn you, oh, let me warn you, oh, don't say I didn't tell you. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Jama Day. Oh, that would be nice. I look forward to the trip. And, you know, when Belinda was saying how beautiful it is, was it Belinda or Cynthia? Somebody mentioned it. I remember my first time at Kwebu. There's that when you are climbing, there's one mountain that you just take a right turn and you face it. My heart just went. And I've done that like four or five times. Every time I see it, my heart it's just, it's, I think it's the most beautiful mountain I have ever seen in Ghana. I thought Ebri Mountains were nice. Oh, no, 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 no. The Kwehu one, dear. Mm, mm, mm. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. And I look forward to it. Ella, I'm sending you hugs, eh? We'll do our own in Belgium, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my class, <laughs> Ella, we are sorry. Well, ladies, you've heard for yourself. It is always an exciting time with the party crew and we look forward to day four of IFAB 2023 where we are having the adventure tour. I look forward to entering the cave. So where I grew up, I grew up in Commenda or for a bit, I was for a while I was in Commenda and there, there used to be a cave close to where we lived and I couldn't go through it, you know, I couldn't go into it because I, I I have a fear of space. Is it claustrophobic or something? Or I used to have a fear of space. I like to think I've overcome it. Well, I couldn't go into it. 
until later in life when I went and I was like, so is this what I was afraid of, you know? And I look forward to entering this particular cave um, in Peru. I, I've seen a few videos and I think it's quite an interesting experience. I look forward to chilling with the ladies. I love chilling and that's going to be the final day. So by then we'd have finished the first few parts of the conference will be left with the last part, which is the adventure tour. So we can just let our hair down. Okay, I don't have hair, but you know what I mean, right? We'll have so much fun, ladies. If you're planning to come for IFAB day one to day three and drop the four, please, I'm speaking to you. Do not stay away from this adventure. Let's do this together. Like Belinda said, let's grow together. And let's thrive together as fabulous children of God. So I look forward to seeing you, seeing your registration. Check in the caption on the or in the um, description to see the link so you can register and let's you know, take part. I have bought my ticket already. I am excited and I look forward to seeing you buy your ticket as well. And of course, you can sponsor someone else sponsor another woman or even sponsor the give back day you know come let's do this together okay until the next episode of mind your business i wish you the very very best ta toodles be fabulous